What's up, everybody? This is John from Coding Attic, and welcome to another HTML and CSS project video. And for this one, I decided to do something different, where instead of building a small project in one video, we'll build a bigger project over the span of multiple videos. And then who knows? If people like it, we might even add the headless CMS with vanilla JS later. If you want to see the entire project in action, just navigate to the URL HTML CSS simply recipes dot netify that app. Again, the URL is HTML CSS simply recipes dot netify that app. And effectively, we've got a recipe site with a bunch of pages. So we've got a home page and about page the tags page. And then once we click on a tag, we navigate to a tag template page. We also have got recipes page, as well as the contact page. And also, if we click on a single recipe, we'll have a single recipe page. Before we start setting up the project, let me just mention that since it's a HTML and CSS project, there's going to be very minimal functionality and some copy and pasting. Since in plain HTML, there are no templates or components. So for example, if you want to display nav bar in all pages, yes, you will have to copy and paste since there's no way around it. In order to follow along with the project, you'll need a star and probably the fastest way to get it is by navigating to johnsmilgo.com. Again, the URL is johnsmilgo.com and then look for the projects page and then filter by YouTube. So check for YouTube projects. And in here, if you click on this button, of course, you'll navigate to the project, the one that I just showed you, but you're looking for the star. So just click on the star or the source code. Both of them lead to the same repo. And once you get here, just look for download zip option. And once you download the zip, of course, you want to crack it open here. And then I'll just drag and drop and place it on desktop. I'll use my favorite text editor, Visual Studio Code. And I always prefer working side by side with a browser window. So I'll open up the browser. I'll set them side by side. And then we'll go over what you can find in the project. And essentially, we've got two folders. We've got a final one and the starter one. And of course, in the final is where you'll find the entire source code, just in case you ever need a reference. And the starter is where we'll be doing all of our work. In the star, you'll find the general structure for the project. So I already prepared some stuff for you, like we have assets. So this is where you'll find all the images, some CSS files that I'm going to talk about a little bit later, some empty HTML pages. So these are all the pages that eventually we'll create, as well as one lonely JavaScript file. And if you take a look at the index HTML, you'll find here the general setup, where essentially we've got some link tags. So one is going to be for favicon, then the next one will be for normalized CSS. We also have one for font awesome icons, and one for main CSS. And if you take a look at the main CSS, you'll find some global styles that I use in all of my projects. If you're confused about some of this stuff, for example, why I use normalize, and what is the benefit of global styles? Please watch my default star video where I cover all of that in great detail. And you can find the video link in the description. Lastly, while working on HTML and CSS project, I prefer extension called preview on a web, which spins up the local web server. And as a result, once I save the file, I can see the changes instantly. So let me show you. So these are my extensions. And the one that I prefer using is this one the preview on a web server. And of course, you just need to install it. And then if you want to see it in a browser, you can either right click it, and I'll show you that in a second. Or you can use this shortcut. So once you install the extension, just navigate to index HTML in the star. So of course, this is where we'll do the work. Now, if you want to check out the final, of course, navigate there. And then like I said, we can right click over here and then choose this option. Or you can just go for the shortcut. And I believe it was control shift and L. And once you spin it up, you should see a home page in a browser. And like I said, the reason why I prefer using this extension is because every time you make some kind of changes, 
you'll right away see that in the browser. So if I go here with hello people, and once I save the file, check it out. Now, of course, I have the element displayed in the browser. And then lastly, once in a while, I want to showcase what we've got on a big screen as well. So therefore, I'll navigate here. And then I'll just copy and paste this URL. So essentially, I'll have two browsers, one is going to be the small one, where you'll see the result right away. And once in a while, I'll hop back to the big browser, just to showcase how something looks on a big screen as well.